How's it going? Today I'll be showing you how to use variables in the Rust programming language. Let's just start by example. If I type in let x equals 45, this now means whenever I type in x, I actually mean 45. So from this, we can see I've used the let keyword, which means I'm about to define a variable, and then I've specified the name of my variable, being x in this case, and then the value of my variable. So now down here, if I print out the value of x is, and then pass in x as a template, we should see the value of x is 45. And we see that is our expected result. Now back to the program. If I wanted to actually change the value of x and make it 60 for example, we could go down here, type in x equals 60, and I haven't used let because I've already told Rust I've got a variable called x, so down here I'm simply just changing it, which is why we don't need let once again. So now if I copy and paste this print line statement, we should expect to see the value of x is 45 and then the value of x is 60. Let's try that and we actually get an error which says reassignment of immutable variable x. Now this happens because in Rust by default all variables you define are immutable which means they can't be changed later on. Now to actually make that happen we have to use the MUT keyword right after let which basically just flags the variable x as being uh, mutable, in other words, it can now be changed. So now, this should work. Let's try again. And we get our result, 45 and 60, it works. And that is the basic use of variables in Rust. I've gone over how you can define a variable called x equal to 45, and I've also gone over how you need to use the MUT keyword if you wanna change the value of x. In the next video, I'll be going over how we can define variable data types and we'll go over things such as boolean and floats and all that stuff. But for this video, it's just the basics where we have the let keyword and the mut keyword. That's all. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.